السلام علیکم ہیلو ہائی اینڈ ویلکم ٹو کوکنگ از فن وت فردوس اینڈ آئی وش یو اینڈ یور فیملی یور ویری ہیپی رمدان گائز گائز دس رمدان ایٹ ہوم یور سہر یور افتیار یور تھراوے نو پارٹیز یو آل آر گونو اسٹے ایٹ ہوم وت یور فیملی اینڈ یور گونو سیو لائفس بائی دیٹ گائز اٹس اے ہولی منتھ وچ ایز ارائب سو لیٹس آل پری ٹو دی آل مائی ٹی اینڈ سیک فار گیونس اینڈ آل آئی کین سی از لیٹس جسٹ اسٹے ایٹ ہوم اینڈ اسٹے سیف اینڈ ریکویسٹ ٹو دی آل مائی ٹی ٹو پروٹیکٹ ایس اینڈ ہیل ایس فرام دس کرونا وائرس ٹائم اینڈ آئی ایم شیور وی آل آر تھنکنگ آن پریپریشن آف افطار ٹائم اینڈ سہری ٹائم سو ہیئر آئی ایم بیک ود انادر ریسیپی فار دا رمضان افطار سو دس از مائی رمضان افطار اسپیشل ریسیپی ویئر آئی ایم گونو شو یو اے ویری سمپل اسٹیپ ان میکنگ دا پیسٹری ڈو اف یو تھنک میکنگ پف پیسٹری از اے ڈیفیکلٹ ٹاسک دین آئی ایم شیور آفٹر واچنگ دس ویڈیو یو ول بی ٹیمپٹ ٹو ٹرائی یور ون یور اون پف پیسٹری ایٹ ہوم سو ڈو گیو اٹ اے ٹرائی اینڈ شیئر یور ایکسپیرینسز So guys to make the puff pastry dough there we have to make two types of doughs the first variety of dough is going to be a butter dough so here we need all purpose flour 250 grams and 550 grams of cold butter cling wrap and a scraper in case if you find difficult using your hand you can use a clean counter and with the help of a scraper you can make a dough with this cold butter and some flour for dusting ice cold water really very cold and salt Guys if you have a food processor at home go ahead using in the food processor since i have to show the recipe to many of you who might not have food processor i'm going to use with my use the dough i mean make the dough using my hands so first we'll add salt to the flour and mix the flour well with the salt and then drop in the cold butter since the butter is cold it will take a little time but it's it doesn't matter you have to need go on kneading it using nice cold water drizzle the cold water and knead Don't make too soft, don't make too stiff. Just ensure it's in the right consistency for you. And once the dough is ready, all you have to do is cling wrap the dough and let this refrigerate in the uh, fridge for about 1 hour minimum and maximum for 2 hours, but not more than that. Otherwise it will become difficult for you to roll the dough. So now you have to place this in the fridge for 1 hour. While this is resting in the fridge, let's prepare the dough number 2. So for preparing the dough number 2 again you need all purpose flour and here it's going to be around 300 grams with some salt so you drop in the salt and then mix the flour and the salt well and we will be adding some melted butter to this dough and make it a little crumbly texture to it so 50 grams of melted butter and just give it a nice mix so drizzle some cold water and make neither smooth nor stiff just a perfect consistency dough where you can roll out well and the dough is ready now this is going to rest for another 30 to 40 minutes meanwhile both the doughs are resting you also go and rest <laughs> now moving on the next uh here we are going to take both the doughs out first i'm going to roll out the flour dough the the second dough okay roll the dough well not so thin not so thick just properly so that you can place your butter dough over it and wrap the butter dough with the flour dough so place the butter dough and then wrap it with the flour dough and then you need to roll this now this is going to be a little tougher because your butter butter dough is little harder so just try to put the whole energy into it and roll it out here you go we are going to start with our folds the pastry folds <laughs> one two three and four so four folds Now this is going to rest for another 10 to 20 minutes in the refrigerator after a clean wrap leave it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes after 20 minutes again you need to roll it so just dust some flour and start rolling it out equally from all the four sides and once you roll it you need to fold it so now roll it well after this we'll fold them This is going to be our fifth fold and the sixth fold. That's it. No more folds in this. Again, you put this in the refrigerator for another 10 to 20 minutes and after 20 to 20 minutes we are going to start another round. Guys, I'm fasting, okay? Please don't mind if I go wrong anywhere. <laughs> Fine. Uh, after 20 minutes I'm just going to roll it and after this roll again a fold and this is going to be our final fold, okay? seventh fold eighth fold and the ninth fold that's it so now this is going to rest 
for another 10 to 20 minutes in the refrigerator and after this our pastry dough is ready guys so just start rolling it out and this is going to be the final roll that's if you want further more you can fold again and you can refrigerate but i'm happy with this i'm going to go ahead with this itself so you can see how beautifully i got the layers ready and i'm going to now just uh, um, cut them into a square shape and i can freeze them for at least one to two weeks in the refrigerator using a wax paper or a cling wrap or a plastic wrap you can wrap it and store them in an airtight container like this and you can use them whenever you need it so that's the best part you know <laughs> fine um, meanwhile let it rest in the refrigerator i'm going to prepare my pastry filling and then i will start uh, the baking process so so for the pastry filling i have chosen chicken filling so you can choose any filling of your choice i just added oil and some chopped uh, onions along with some ginger garlic paste and chicken chopped chicken so I'm going to mix this well together and cook the chicken well, adding some red chili powder, curry powder. And uh, I, I wanted to add some vegetables to this. So I have added some carrot and peas and beans. And of course, uh, you need at least two to three tables, tea, teaspoons of uh, tomato sauce or tomato paste or puree. And then cook this well. What I did is I just uh, coarsely grinded that uh, chicken and added some mayonnaise to it so i'm just placing that over the pastry puff pastry and i'll seal this using in the fork and then we have to give some egg wash you can give even butter wash but i believe egg wash gives a perfect crispiness and a shine to your puff pastry so go ahead with egg wash now bake this at 180 degrees celsius for 15 to 20 minutes or until it is crispy and uh, puffy from outside as you see now so they are perfectly baked let me just show you one piece. It's very hot, but still for you. <laughs> because I'm getting late for my iftar. I have to rush. It's already 6.15 and the iftar time here is around 6.38. So you have a look at the flaky layers and the wonderfully puffed puff pastry, guys. So there you go. That's my spread for the day. And uh, I hope you give this a recipe a try. And uh, one more thing I want to tell you is... Um, you can also fry this puff pastry instead of baking as well so no worries if you don't have an oven you can fry them and it de it completely depends on the number of layers the the folds so the f the number of folds you do the number of layers you give that that's how it puffs up and also depends on the quality of butter so try to use a good quality butter okay guys that's it have a nice day stay Tune with cooking is fun with Firdos. There's still lots more to come. Stay blessed, stay happy, and stay at home. Also, please follow me on YouTube channel, Cooking is Fun with Firdos, which you all have been doing wonderfully. Thank you so much for that. I'm also on Instagram, so please go to my Instagram page. It's Cooking is Fun with Firdos, or you can search by my name, Firdos Narayan, and you can like and follow me as well as on the Facebook page. I have a Cooking is Fun with Firdos page, so please follow me on Cooking is Fun with Firdos and stay blessed stay safe save lives stay at home take care till then allah hafiz